This young man is an aspiring Grand Prix star. What looks like a gentle spin through the streets is vital preparation for his next race. The venue, Birmingham, or more precisely, the streets of Birmingham. For the first time in Britain, a city centre becomes a race circuit. Russell Spence is 26, son of a Brantford builder. Six years ago, he competed locally in hill climbs for fun. Now he races all over the world and is regarded by many as the next Briton to make the break into Formula One. He's a typical Yorkshireman, blunt, aggressive and totally determined. Ideal qualities for this most dangerous of sports. And the people that are prepared to drive the 10 tents, the one inch away from the barriers on the exit, will get quite an advantage at Birmingham. Um, on a circuit, if you make a slight mistake, you can go over the curves on the grass and collect it all up. If you make one small mistake on a street race, um, you just finished. The circuit's full of unique challenges thrown down by designer John Richardson. Up here we're going to be touching about 150, 160. You know, the only yeah. thing on the bump there seems rather locked the braking area. Yes, well, we've taken out a substantial amount of the bump and really it's about as much as we can get yeah. uh, for the road to be usable in normal conditions yeah. and I think this is, is where it comes down to the skill of the racing driver oh, picking his line. Again, yeah. <laughs> one of the big problems with roundabouts is, is that if you go off and hit one they don't move so far unlike an arm color barrier where it'll move and you've got catch fencing to slow you down before you hit anything solid. The only dangerous thing really about Birmingham that I can see is the shortage of runoff areas in certain places. This is the driver's eye view of the circuit at saloon car speed, but it's no family runabout that Russell will be strapped into. Formula 3000 is very, very competitive. We're using the Cosworth 3-litre engines. They're a V8 engine that they used to use in Formula 1 four years ago, and that's given us somewhere between 450 and 460 brake horsepower and it's actually pushing about half the weight of a mini metro so you can tell the kind of speed so it's very very quick and on a circuit such as birmingham people have said that we might see 200 miles an hour russell's rise through the sport has been nothing less than meteoric <laughs> 